Hey everybody, it's Brad. I'm uh, just doing a quick forum post answer here. Uh, CraftMouse1 is asking about how to do stippling. Uh, they're highlighting the box. They want stippling in and none of the options are highlighted on the bottom. Um, so let's see if we can help. Um, basically, what you need to do to add stippling to something, and in fact to create any type of stitch in the program, is you need to have uh, some kind of artwork that you're going to turn into the the, the stitch, uh, in this case stippling. So I'm going to start with just a real simple shape. Um, we're going to do a rectangle, so we go up to our artwork tool up here, and we're going to choose a rectangle. If we wanted another shape, we'd use this little arrow next to it. Flyout menu comes out and you pick your shape. We'll do the rectangle, just click and drag a rectangle, and then down at the bottom, you see we've got this highlighted here. Down at the bottom, we see we have all of our little things are highlighted. So we click on Auto Stipple, and there's our stippling. Okay. Um, so if you are already doing that and your things don't light up down here at the bottom, then um, I don't know what to tell you. But I, I think that what you may be doing is you may have an embroidery design open. Um, so let's open up a design here. We've got this, uh, this, this rose design. If I were to select a part of this design and try to turn that into stippling, that's not going to work um, because this is uh, an existing design. It's, I mean, I could technically open it up and have uh, create, um, have it do uh, convert to outlines. I think is what they call it. Um, but it would still, it would just, it would convert one of the types of stitch in here into stippling which is probably not what you want um, what I'm imagining you want is probably to be able to put stippling around a design um, so if you wanted to do that you could go in and get your um, get your rectangle here or whatever shape you want draw it um, and then you could go in and either draw another rectangle around it or you know whatever shape you wanted like so maybe you don't want a rectangle maybe you want a, uh, a circle so we'll pick the circle tool here um, we'll draw the circle and move it so that it's all the way around the rows and then if you hold down the control key um, and select each one of these two pieces of artwork look in the sequence view we've got this one and this one hold down the control key to select both of them and then right click and choose combine um, then when you add stippling to this resulting shape you're going to have it stipple around your design um, so that may be what you meant and once you've got the stippling in you can go up to the properties menu up here with the stippling selected and change the, sti the density your stitch length uh, to um, adjust the the way that your stippling looks uh, if you choose automatically close then it will make sure that there are no loose ends around the outside edges of your stippling. Uh, so if I change my density here, so uh, the larger the number here, the less dense it's going to be. So if I make a larger number, I've got looser, more realistic looking uh, swirls for my stippling. Um, so anyway, that's like a kind of a crash course on how to use the stippling. Um, and that really, it, it applies to any kind of uh, stitch that you wanted to apply to here. Um, you would not be able to um, just kind of click on an existing design and turn you know a part of it into something else um, without it being like a, a a design that's made to do that like a WAF file um, the ones that you get for free every month uh, you can do that too and to a limited extent if you choose convert to outlines when you open uh, an existing design you can do it but it's generally not a very good idea because it generally doesn't work that well um, Anyway, hope that didn't confuse you too much. The long and the short of it is, you got to draw a shape and then apply your stippling to that shape. You can't just pick like a a, a spot in an existing design. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.